Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Jacob back here for the J2H channel. And today we have, uh, honestly, some of my favorite videos to do. We have a brand new 4K Ultra HD review for you, coming to you from Warner Brothers. And this is a comic book film. Uh, one I saw in theaters, of course. We have Aquaman, um, the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So there you have the slip cover there. Um, it's very um, glossy, I'll say. And it's, I thought it was like uh, embossed. It, it kind of is. It's just right here with the, the A from the Aquaman logo is embossed. I thought it was each individual, but I am mistaken. Um, so there you have it there. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom on 4K. Now it is just the 4K Ultra HD and digital. We do not have the Blu-ray still. I'm still campaigning. I'm still in favor of keeping the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray combo packs together. But... Alas, it does still come with a digital copy. We'll take what we can get. Uh, Movies Anywhere code redeems in 4K. Supports everywhere. Um, so this is a 2023 film. I believe this came out... If it didn't come out after Christmas, it was like a 12-15-ish movie, if I recall. Um, so you got, I love the coloring of this one. Aquaman and the Last Kingdom. Lost Kingdom, not last. There's the back of the slipcover there. And you see Aquaman there. You have Orm, better known as Ocean Master from the last film. And then there is Black Manta right there. Um, so let's check this out. Oh, actually, before we pop the slipcover off. It does have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. 124-minute runtime. Um, rated PG-13 for science, violence, and some language. Um, let's say science. Sci-fi, violence, and, and language. Um, we have Between Land and Sea is a world-worthy... Is a world worth saving. As Arthur Curry confronts the responsibilities of being king of the seven seas, a long buried ancient power is unleashed. After after witnessing the witnessing the full effect of these dark forces, Aquaman must forge an uneasy alliance with an old enemy and embark on a treacherous journey to protect his family, his kingdom, and the world from irreversible devastation. So we also have some special features which are all on the 4K disc now, thanks to their um, refusal to include the Blu-ray. We have special features, Finding the Lost Kingdom, Aquaman, Worlds Above and Below, Atlantean Blood is Thicker Than Water, It's a Manta World, uh, Nucris, The Lost Black City, Escape from the Deserter World, Brawling at Kingfish's Lair, and O Tapo. So there it is with the slipcover, we'll pop that off. Um, still very solid without that ribbon and slipcover, like that looks... That's a very clean release to me. I, 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 I can appreciate that. There you have the back there, which again, special features listed. So this is, um, so like I said, it's the story of Aquaman, and he sees the power of the Lost Kingdom. He has to try to stop it, and he has to team up with his, um, I believe it's half, half-brother, Ocean Master, oop, Orm, Ocean Master, and, um, and stop it. And oh, also... Black Manta is still a thing, and he still wants revenge on Aquaman for killing his father in the events of the first movie. So, they all intertwine. I had a fun time with this. I actually watched this in the theaters with my with my son. He's a big Aquaman fan and comic book movie fan like I am. And uh, we really enjoyed it. My wife has yet to watch this, so I was very excited to watch this in 4K with her at the, the luxury of our own home. Um, this is also... The last film in the James, I'm um, sorry, in the James Gunn list, the the DC EU. So the the DC EU as we know it, as we knew it, started with Man of Steel, ends with Aquaman two. This is the last film in that in that series, in that in that um, franchise, that saga, before we start James Gunn's DCU. So it's a it's a it's a, it's a nice end cap. Um, for the DCU and I like it, D DCEU, my apologies. And I, like I said, I really liked, like, I really liked this. I didn't expect to like this as much, but, um, man, some of those latter entries into the, the DCEU, this one, um, Blue Beetle, and I think Shazam 2, I think were the last three. Oh, and The Flash. So all of those, The Flash more than Shazam 2, that is really solid. The Blue Beetle is such a fun watch. I just don't think, I think people soured on the DCEU. They got confused because of the Snyder Cut, and then when they announced James Gunn before these films had come out, um, it just kind of cut the legs off. And I don't think that's fair to this movie because it's 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 a fun watch, man. I can't wait to to uh, to watch this, or couldn't wait to watch this. Sorry. Um, 
So here is the 4K disc, the only thing in the set. 4K, Aquaman and the Last Kingdom. Lost, damn it. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Last would work too, I guess, when you really think about it. But So there you go. Um, awesome addition to the collection. A welcome addition. So we got... How many films did I end up with? One, two... This would be 16, and it's 15 if you don't include Snyder Cut. So, um, so like I said, I, I, I'm a fan of the DCEU. I'm not, I, I don't think it quite holds a torch to the MCU, but they're both still fun. I would recommend checking this out. If you're a fan of the first one, you'll really appreciate this one. You'll understand. If you're a fan of comic book movies, you owe it to yourself to check this one out. And if you've been a fan of the DCEU at any point, why not check it out? It's available now on physical. I'll put a link in the description to check this edition out. It's also available on Just Standalone Blu-ray, Just Standalone DVD, and Just Standalone Digital. But uh, you want to check it out in the highest format, highest visual quality possible. Especially with some of those underwater scenes and the Black Manta suit. Everything looks killer. So, uh, But yeah, so the, the links, by the way, are not a affiliate link in any way. It's just a way to support Warner Brothers and releasing all of these on physical 4K, which I appreciate. Um, I also want to thank Warner Brothers for sending me a copy. If you guys would like to support the channel anyway, I will have links to all my social medias in the description. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, um, TV Time and Letterboxd, where you can go all the TV shows and movies I watch respectively, and my Blu-ray.com and my eBay page. So, thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think of Aquaman 2? What did you think of the first Aquaman? The DC, EU, all together. Especially, I thought they had a really good last leg. Some of those latter films, um, I mean, I personally liked Black Adam, but everything after Black Adam was really solid. I just don't think it got the recognition it deserved. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you later, YouTube. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Have you clicked that notification bell? If you could do that, that'd be great. Right down there. Right down there. Thank you so much. Also, go ahead and check out these additional options on the channel. There should be a video, maybe a playlist, maybe one of each. For you to check out so you can stay on the channel and stay informed and also over here should be the uh, the logo go ahead and click that click sub